Speaker number four, Dan Collier. <laughs> Effective dialogue requires both speaking clearly and listening effectively. How is our country doing right now? And what, if anything, <laughs> needs to be done uh -huh. Effective dialogue requires both speaking clearly and listening effectively. How is our country doing right now? And what, if anything, needs to be done nationally? Dan Collier. <laughs> that dialogue is most important when it is internal. Especially now because with what's happening in the nation and what our new president has inspired by the way of dialogue, many people are very verbose about it and sharing their thoughts to anybody who will listen. However, I find that internal dialogue is more important and here's why. When we feel that something is going wrong in our lives, we often reach out of ourselves and use those words to possibly hurt others or ourselves, to possibly demean others or ourselves. Rather, we should look at our internal dialogue and correct that, be nicer to ourselves. I find that <coughs> anger is something that I control. So if I internalize that and say, well, I'm getting angry at myself, that's ridiculous, I can control that, I'm going to change that emotion and speak better to myself, my internal dialogue. Now once I'm able to do that and empower myself internally, now when I'm speaking about things such as the state of our government right now or the state of our country right now, I find that I'm using more positive words because I'm coming from a, a more positive place. So if we can correct, if, if the country is looking for something to correct, it would, I believe it would start with our internal dialogue. Empower ourselves, speak better to ourselves first. That way when we do open our mouth and contribute to what's going on, it's going to be a positive message about what's going on. We're going to look for what's good in our country right now. And believe me, folks, there is a lot to be found that is great in our country right now. Mr. Kittyhoff.